So when you're reading a chapter of the Bhagavatam, which is the Prema Rasa Pil Shastra, this is all about Raja Prema, this is all about Gopi Prema. And we are meant to become gopis, live in Braj, and serve Radha Krishna as gopis. So this is the most important subject matter for every Gaudi of Aishnama. And that's why you read in the BBT edition of Krishna book, there are all, there's, there are all kinds of descriptions by Srila Prabhupada of the philosophy and the identity of Krishna, and the gopis are his eternal shaktis and consorts expanded from his own form. But then th throughout the Krishna book, especially in chapter 33, at the conclusion, Prabhupada is giving so much encouragement. Yes, you can hear this. Yes, you can read this. Prabhupada started a spiritual mission, and when the first books he gave, he gave books of tattva and he gave books of rasa. He gave books of philosophy, he gave books of lila. 1969, he published the Krishna book. 1970, he published Nectar of Devotion. 1973, he published the Bhagavad Gita. 1965, he published the Bhagavatam. 63 to 65, one, two, three volumes, first canto. Put them in a trunk, got on a boat, brought them to New York. First canto, he gave. What was the second book he gave? Easy Journey to Other Planets. He brought that from India with him. It was published. And what's the third book? Isopanisha. Small. And printed fast. Printed fast. What's the next book? Krishna book. Why Krishna book? Because of Ras Lila. And when we're hearing Prabhupada's tikas, we're hearing Prabhupada's translations, which I extracted from the Krishna book. This is the translation to this verse by Prabhupada, and then I'll have his purport. And I have Jiva Goswami and Vishwana. So Prabhupada wanted the devotees to know, this is the Prayojana, Ras Lila. This is the Prayojana, Jayara Madhava Kunja Bihari. So I may go, I'm old man, I'm 70 years old, but you must have the Krishna book, and you must have Nectar Devotion. Which means these books are essential books. They teach, Nectar Devotion teaches that Tattva, Bhakti Rasmita Sindhu, teaches the Tattva of love. Love, had, is, love is composed and made of different feelings and emotions. It's a hero and a heroine, Nayak and Nayak, that's a Viva. Then there's stimulants and excitements to love, that's the Uipan. Then there's feelings that arise in the heart and mind which are expressed voluntarily, Anabhav, or involuntarily, Sattvic Bhav. Then there's waves that come up in both places, and in the Sattvic Bhav and Anabhav, the different anxieties and and fears, and so that all, all these are aspects and components of nourishing love. They, they, we're, all, we're working with this, and we're, we're experiencing this, and tasting this in our loving dealings. If you love a woman, a man loves a woman, which we're talking about Madhurya Ras, or man and woman, huh? this amorous relationship, that's the subject, that is our goal, 